Okay, all right, okay. Uh, this is Carla Froze, recording from Bedford, Pennsylvania, on Monday, uh, July, let's see. I'll have to go, let me look at it, let's see, Wednesday was the, or Thursday was the 4th, so we've got, okay, let me go, yeah, today's the 8th, okay, um, trying to figure out my days here, anyway, yeah, it's Monday, uh, July 8th, 2019, and, um, we're going to talk about the Tigers, um, and uh, for all you Lions and Pistons and Red Wings fans out there, you're probably not going to be very interested in this. Um, I was very upset. Anyway, um, let's get on with it. Um, I was watching the, uh, the local the Detroit News uh, the other day, and um, they had their little teaser before the commercials came on. They said uh, about an announcement. Um, from uh, the upper management from the Tigers organization. I thought for sure it was going to be that uh, 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 Ron Gardenhire was fired, but no, that's not the case. That was a good thing. But I was blindsided. I've been yelling for years and years and years that the general manager, Al Avila, has got to go. But what do they do when they came back um, from commercial break and they made the announcement? The uh, Boneheaded uh, Tigers uh, owners ownership decided to extend Al Avila's uh, contract. I think was another seven years. I don't know. I was so mad I flipped the channel. I couldn't take it. Um, so this boneheaded move. Well, we're going to see. Just uh, you know, he's already um, uh, done the stupidity of getting rid of Victor Martinez. Um, you can pretty much for the Tigers are now going to be the laughing stock in Detroit. They're, they've actually made more bonehead moves than the Detroit Lions. Although Lions, Pistons, and Red Wings are actually look like they're on the way up. Am I going to say uh, any of these teams are going to make the playoffs? No, it's too early to tell. But the Red Wings finally brought in um, – Steve Eisenman was a general manager and right off the bat in free agency and, and that sort of thing and draft. He did exactly what he needed to do. Doesn't mean the Red Wings are going to get to the playoffs this year, but he did his job and um, I'm expecting good things from them. The Pistons are very aggressive. It looks like they're going to be better and um, of course uh, the Lions are making their moves and um, it's, it's a 50-50 thing. Um, I am cautiously optimistic on them, but the Tigers, uh, they're in the dumpster. Uh, this was absolutely the worst, the most horrible news. Um, uh, they will be the laughing stock. They will be the new Lions. Um, they're going to be competing with, with Baltimore, with the Baltimore Orioles, not in a good way. I remember the uh, days of when Billy Martin was a manager of the Tigers and uh, Earl Weaver of the Orioles. They were battling for the top spot in the American League. Um, oh, the, the arguments between the managers was great and the umpires. Um, those were good times, um, even though I don't like the Orioles. But uh, now they're, they're competing, yeah, but in the wrong way. They're competing to see who's going to be the worst team in baseball. Uh, and uh, my... my um, my bet's going with the, with the Tigers. Um, uh, this extension, contract extension uh, for Al Avila is um, just um, just pathetic at best. Uh, we'll see. Maybe maybe he's got some uh, uh, tricks up his sleeve. I, they, they've, got, they've signed some good, pretty good prospects, but baseball is so much different than like the, the NFL or the NBA. When you get some in baseball, um, you know, you sign your prospect out of college and that sort of thing. 
Well, it's going to be years and years and years because they got to go through the farm system. They got to, they got to go through the minor leagues. They've, they, they've got to really own their skills um, much more. It takes, it takes a baseball player a lot longer if they even get to the big league levels. Some um, prospects just end up spending their entire careers in the minor leagues and they just never quite get to the level where they can get to the major league. So um, what Al Avila has done is it's gotten rid of all their good players with the exception of Miggy who is who is injury prone and um, he is not uh, he is not what he used to be. Uh, the last good year that the Tigers had, and they really missed their opportunity when they got swept by the Giants in the World Series. After that, it's been downhill off, um, after all of there. Then, um, and I can see why pitchers like uh, Justin Verlander had problems. And I've said this in a podcast before. He would be pitching his heart out, you know, only allowing. Um, one or two, maybe three runs, and he'd get zero out from the offense because they didn't have a lineup. So, you know, um, a person can only do that for so long. Then he, then, then I guess either he just gave up or something. But he, they would, they or the other batters were figuring him out. He just, uh, his heart wasn't in it, and they were pounding him. Now look, he's on Houston. He's back to his old self again. So. This is all on the Tigers organization. Um, they're, they're becoming completely inept. Um, they're, um, and unless, uh, like I said, if Al Avila can somehow magically pull a rabbit out of his hat and um, um, make some things, but I, I see them uh, trading away uh, their, their best pitcher, Boyd, and I mean, they're, they're, uh, he's the only guy that's winning games for them. Um, I mean, it's pretty pathetic. They Going into the All-Star break, they, they've lost um, 13 of the last 14, something like that. Um, they're basically winning one game out of three. You know, that's a, a, a 300 uh, percentage. And that's where they're going. I, I thought the Tigers, I was hoping that the Tigers would at least be around the 500 level. No, they're not even going to be close. They'll be lucky if they're in the 300s. Um, um, you know, I just hope that the second half of the season, I mean, they're, they're not making the playoffs. That's obvious. They're, um, uh, they, they'll be having uh, problems even just to get into third place, even to pass the White Sox. Um, they could end up dead last, and that's where I see them heading. I don't see any, uh, you know, unless a miracle happens. But um, uh, it's just, it's, it's really, it's really upsetting to see. I was hoping that they would be making a, a change with a general manager, uh, but for whatever reason, they're stuck with this Al Avila guy. And uh, all I'm going to say, I'll just end my podcast on this, is that. Um, Unless they fire him before seven years, before his contract's up, uh, you can pretty much count on the Tigers being in last place, and they're going to be the butt of, uh, of all the Detroit teams' jokes because uh, the other three teams, um, they're making strides to do something, and the Tigers are just, they're going the, they're, they're going in the opposite direction. They're not getting any better. They're getting worse. Um, and that's just... That's just the, the way it is. Um, this is a pretty quick podcast. Um, I don't have anything else to say except for I'm really upset about this uh, move. And uh, you're going to see it. You're going to see the, the consequences. Come um, come trade day, you're going to see the Tigers selling off a bunch of people. And then they're basically, uh, it's, it's, it's over. The season's over. And it's halfway through. Well, I will talk to you next time, and um, uh, maybe we'll have something more positive to talk about. The Tigers are just, uh, they're just not there. So 
it'll probably be a non-sports related topic and something more upbeat but I had to get this out just to uh, express my anger or frustration with uh, the recent uh, management decisions by the Tigers. Well, talk to you next time. Have a good day and stay safe.